To get started with my red beans and rice, I will be using one small bell pepper. Basically, I've just given it a fine chop, and it's probably around a cup of bell pepper. I'm also using one medium onion. Again, this is probably a cup of onion. And I'm also using one celery stick that I've finely chopped. This is around a half cup of celery. By the way, be sure to check the description below for all the ingredients and measurements used in this recipe. Okay, next I will be using one tablespoon of lightly dried parsley. You could also substitute this with two tablespoons of fresh parsley. I will also be using three cloves of garlic minced, one and a half teaspoons of Cajun seasoning. You could use the brand of Cajun seasoning of your choice. One dried bay leaf. Next, I will be using one to two smoked turkey legs. Honestly, I normally just use one. It is enough smoky flavor to add to the beans, but I'm also going to be taking some to my nephew and he wants a turkey leg. So I'm also going to use a 12 ounce package of andouille sausage. You can definitely substitute with the smoked sausage of your choice. And I will be using seven to eight cups of chicken broth. And finally, I will be using one pound of red kidney beans. Now, this particular brand has a very easy recipe on the back. And years ago, this was the recipe that I first tried when making red beans and rice. It is a really good recipe. But over the years, I've strayed and developed my own springboarding from this one. So if you don't like my recipe, you can definitely give this one a try. <laughs> okay, so now let's get started. I want to mention, you can definitely soak your beans overnight, but if you forget to, here's a quick way to do it. So here I have a pot of boiling water going. So what I'm going to do is basically empty out all of my beans into the pot of boiling water. Once I do that, I'm going to make sure the water comes back up to a boil, and once it starts boiling, I'm going to let it boil for around five minutes. Now, these beans are fairly clean, but definitely if you want to give them a quick rinse before boiling them, that's fine. But honestly, once I boil them and let them set for an hour, I'm going to just strain all the water out. And if there's anything in there, I can discard it. So now that my beans are up to boil, again, I'm going to let them boil for around five minutes. Then I'm going to turn the heat off and let them soak for one hour. After an hour of soak time, I am going to drain all of the water and then set them aside until I need them. Okay, so now that my beans are pre-soaked, I'm ready to get started. So here I have a pot and I'm not really preheating it, but what I'm going to do is basically cook and saute my chopped and sliced andouille sausage and I'm gonna see if I can render out some fat. Sometimes it depends on the brand. It does come a little higher in fat content and I can render out some oil, but this one seemed to be a little leaner than the one I usually buy. So that's okay because I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of fat. So after about five to seven minutes of sauteing and cooking through the sausage, I'm going to add two tablespoons of rendered bacon fat. You could use two tablespoons of butter or you could use two tablespoons of oil. I'm going with rendered bacon fat. I used some bacon in a recipe the other day, so I had this rendered fat. I'm going for it. So once that's melted down, I'm going to start sauteing my other ingredients. And by the way, I am working with a medium, somewhere between medium and medium high. If you find that your pan is getting too hot and the sausage is getting a little too scorched, lower the heat. You don't want to burn anything. Okay, so I'm just creating a space in the center of the pan and I'm going to add my diced onion, diced bell pepper, celery, and garlic. And I will be sauteing this until all of those things are softened and translucent. That may vary in time, again, depending on how high or low you have your heat. So feel free to adjust your heat accordingly.
Okay, so now everything is sauteed and cooked, I am going to add all of my broth. And honestly, I used eight cups, and I probably should have used a larger pot, but later you'll see I had to remove about a cup of this liquid. So I ended up using seven cups in all to cook these beans. But again, it, it will vary because if you're cooking your beans at a higher temperature than I am, you might need to add that extra cup. So that's why I say seven to eight cups. So I've added my broth, I've added my beans, I'm going to give that a stir, and then I'm also going to add the bay leaf and the turkey, you can see I've already placed in there. And again, I'm probably gonna add that extra turkey leg in there because I wanna take some to my nephew. By the way, I did not mention this earlier, but I am using a low sodium chicken broth. That will help control the salt level in this because I am going to add some Cajun seasoning salt and that also is salty. So uh, here I am adding that extra leg. You don't have to do that, but you know, if you want more turkey in your beans, then go right ahead. But I find one gives it enough flavor and if you shred the meat, it, it works out fine. So now that my beans are up to a boil, I am going to let them cook uncovered at a boil for around 15 minutes. And you'll notice again, my poor little pot, it's about to overflow. So I'm going to add the spoon so it doesn't spill over. And I'm going to remove that cup of broth. And if I need it, I'll add it later. But again, you can avoid this by using a bigger pot. <laughs> So my beans are boiling away, and once 15 minutes is up, I am going to cover with a lid. I'm going to lower my heat. I don't want any spillage. And I am going to allow it to gently simmer for somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half. Basically, you want to simmer it covered until your beans are tender. Okay. So it has been one hour and my beans are done. They are tender. So again, the cook time will vary. It just depends on how high or low you are simmering these. So now I'm going to add my parsley and I'm going to season it with that Cajun seasoning. Now, one tip I have learned over the years, and this actually reminds me, I need to redo my charro beans recipe. When you're cooking beans, it's best to season with salt towards the end because if you season it before it has a chance to get tender, it'll toughen the bean and it'll make the process longer. I have learned this the hard way and thankfully a while back someone commented on this and then my uncle commented after he saw my video and I was like, you know what, you're right. And it's true. So this is why you want to season towards the end. So I've added my parsley and my Cajun seasoning, I gave it a mix, so I'm just going to let it continue simmering for five minutes and then serve. And you'll notice as it sets, the beans really soak up the juice and it kind of gets like this thick, saucy soupiness to it. It's so delicious. I'm serving this over steamed white rice. I'm also going to add a delicious piece of quick and easy cornbread. Look for that recipe, I'll be putting that out as well. And the leftovers, I served it the next night with a delicious lemon pepper chicken. I baked it in the oven. It came out so delicious and it paired well with red beans and rice. So those are different dinner ideas that you can use. I will definitely leave the links for all of these recipes that I use to pair with my red beans and rice. But trust me guys, it is so delicious on its own. It is a meal on its own with the rice, the beans, and the cornbread. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.